I don't know why this is happening, but this is a definitely a thing that's happening. Oh, there we go. Please be sound. Squid research. No actual gameplay footage, but this is this is this is gonna be good either way. This is Splatsville in the heart load. of the Splatlands. There we go. Despite its old-fashioned appearance, it's seen enormous growth in recent years. Splatsville. It's also the hottest new place for inklings looking for things to do. Oh, hello everyone. Hope you're all staying fresh. I almost forgot about introductions. We're the researchers from the Squid Research Lab. I like this. We're simply fascinated by what these inklings can do. They can splat ink in kit form and smoothly swim through it in swim form. We've swim been form? Their biology day and night. Also, I'm noticing all of the ink getting spread Today, around. We'd like to share some new findings on these inklings. While new findings. Come on. Throughout. Come on. Splash wall, ink rail. Com combine the two. Do it. Do it. You won't. Of course, what goes for the inklings also applies Splash to rail. Let's go. We're Please. Sure of it. First, turf war. Get styling with some fresh fashion and get inking with even fresher weapons. Naturally, in a place called Splatsville, turf war Look battles at this place. are the locals' favorite pastime. Two teams of four will ink for Look at these places, minutes. though. The team that inks the most in their color, in other words, claims It's definitely got that chao 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 ugh, chaotic feel to it. Now, also, stickers? Is for. Oh my goodness, the bow, look at it. Walls to swim up. New weapon or type. Sneaky and hide an ink to splat opponents. The more ink you spread, the bigger the advantage you'll have in battle. Also, look how far that shoots. Whoops. If you're out of ink, submerge in it to refill. New techniques like the squid surge to swim up walls. Oh wow! Submerged. And the squid roll. I like this. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this. This is good. Also, it's interesting that the the glow effect of everything. This is good stuff. We've discovered where these turf war battles will take place. Stages confirmed for the Splatlands include Scorch Gorge. Nice. Eel Tail Alley. Nice again. Mincemeat Metalworks. Really good. And Undertow Spillway. Amazing. There seem to be other stages as well. Very nice. Haggles oh my Mark goodness, look at that place. To the brain, oh, it's so better. good. I'm so happy. The stuff here looks fishy, though. I get it. Fishy. Several stages from Greater Inkopolis also return. Greater Inkopolis. Museum Delfoncino. Battles here take place in the central courtyard of this modern museum. Oh my goodness. Take special note of the rotating wall. Memories. Instantly. Hammerhead Bridge. This bridge Amazing. connects Greater Inkopolis to the Splatlands. After lots of construction Law. work, it's finally open. Thanks to the bridge, Imagine we could see the Splatlands the whole time. Greater Inkopolis is much easier. Mahi Mahi Resort. Yes. A luxury yes. Resort in Greater also, look at the frame rate of that character moving. To the oh that yes. The I memories. So many memories. There will be more areas to ink afterward, so don't Splatoon is full of memories. Including the stages yes. you see here, a total of 12 await. So very limited stages then. More stages will be added in yeah, that makes sense. Post -launch hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's the one, it's the one, it's the one. It's back. It's finally back. Now, let's get it's into back. the key essence of battle. Eventually. Weapons. It's back. Oh my goodness. First, I can't remember what it's called, but I remember it's good. And it's back. Games will be available. It's the best one from Splatoon 1. Flatlands Which wasn't in Splatoon 2, but it's back again. The bow like stringers will make their destructive debut. We've also verified a new weapon type called Splatanas. Splatanas. I like this. This is 
the Splatana Wiper. Oh my goodness. Send blades of ink flying. It goes so far. It's like a... Swinging. It's a lot like a brush and a... Uh, or a... And it'll a roller, into a but it's like smash. a sword, and it as goes far. As oh, these attack. things are going to be so cool to try out. If you haven't played Splatoon yet, or if you have, and you haven't found the weapon for you, Let's you probably will be able to find the weapon for you now. Because there, is, there are so many weapons, weapons that you probably will find the one that you really as work with. Flies, well, with Okay, specials. Also, I like that, like, bar. Up. Like some new sections. So let's take a closer look. I like that design. This is the tactic cooler. When it's activated, a fridge appears. You'll find in-game beverages stored inside. These have a variety of effects. Oh wow! Like momentarily increasing speed. I like that effect. I like this idea. They come in packs of it could work really well. And share the rest with your teammates. Also, I think one of the greatest improvements with this is the different this spawn is system. The wave breaker. Wave breaker. When activated, it'll unleash waves around the area. Oh, that's cool. It'll also mark an opponent's location and cause Not sure how how effective that could be, but if you try to avoid them with a well-timed jump. Oh, wow. If you put this on top of a ledge though, that'd be amazing. Oh my goodness. Build up power, then charge into a oh. to need a good oh. Once the oh. ends, it'll explode they, and damage they, the surrounding I can area. understand why they're really making this game already. <laughs> because like Splatoon 3 rules, is probably going to be the greatest yes. Splatoon game. They they hit it out of the park with Splatoon. They hit it further out of the park with Splatoon 3. And then they hit it into space with Splatoon 3. Oh my goodness. We might see a new galaxy. <laughs> Splatoon galaxy. Special weapons are paired with main weapons. Torpedo, so Ultra Stamp, Sprinkler, Triple Ink Strike. Crab tank, suction bomb. Also, what's the number thing with the Shop stuff? To get your the on some person's icon, weapons. I can't remember what it's called for some reason. This is ammo knife. Sheldon. Oh my goodness. Crab, <laughs> Look Sheldon. at him. The locals have praised him for his wealth of weapon wisdom. He's got like the solution. monocle kind of a chain effect. Instead of using in-game currency for purchases, oh, that's what this is. Sheldon licenses. License. Oh boy. Obtain them by leveling up through battles, and by okay then. The this this is an interesting because it means you're not having to grind coins as much. Also, I don't know if there is coins at this point. Possibly, but it might be more of a gear than rather than weapons thing, oh, which I think this is a good change. Us, if you exchange more Sheldon licenses than normal, it appears he'll give you a weapon you like sooner than expected as a special reward. What is this game? <laughs> it's incredible. That's what. By the way, the Inklings and Octolings walking around town are pretty savvy about their fashion. Things like headgear, clothing, and shoes are just as important as weapons to staying fresh in Splatsville. You have to stay fresh. Gear can be obtained in the shops around here. This gear is off Each the hook. One is managed by an interesting shopkeeper. So let's drop in. This Whoa, hello. Not couture, I like this person shop. already. You'll find an array of hats, masks, and glasses, so you can get ahead of the game. The puns, all of the puns. The laid back Gnarly, Eddie. Gnarly Eddie. <laughs> Amazing. This is my new favorite character. Oh my goodness. Run the shop. Oh my goodness, snail. <laughs> He's got the sunglasses and it's its face. Oh, beautiful, amazing. Such a great character already. That I'm going to go to the hat shop and live there. Hope you don't mind. I like this design as well. Oh my goodness, look at him. Look at the boy. The boy, big boy with the, the long face. Big boy. He's gonna... Oh my goodness. But deep down, he's a nice guy. Another Probably. great character. I'm going to be going to the hat and You're shoe really shops. You're welcome to pick out gear based on its appearance. But they do come with abilities that can help you out in battle. It's nice that they actually have the text. Have they always had the text that, like, says Take the name of the things? Or if it has it always just been the icons? Increase your running speed. I can't remember. But if it is... Or I feel like it's new, but I could be wrong. 
my memory's bad, so. Interesting. I feel like that's not going to be as helpful, depending on the levels, but anyway. Plus, there's a fellow in Splatsville who can swap one ability with another. He looks like a like he's got spider at legs. Here, and you can add an but anyway, to your looks pretty gear. chill. Kind of like that feel about him. Chill is good. And if you save your favorite gear combinations as fresh as fits, you can change in a flash. <sighs> Yes, this is something they've really needed. They've had, like, the Amiibos that can do that kind of thing. But also, just having that as an option, just so you can do that whenever, is such a good... That's such a good improvement. Welcome to the lobby. Lobby? A gathering spot for those seeking fresh battles. Turf war battles aren't the only things that happen Oh, look at that, that effect, though. That, like, mirage effect. I don't know what the effect is actually called, but anyway. Nice. Good start. Ride the tower to the goal in tower control. Spot Zones is probably the best. Carry the Rainmaker to its destination in Rainmaker. Nice. Oh, checkpoints. Interesting. They should really add, um, what's it called while I was saying in the Splatoon 2? They should so add, like, vents series. that you can go into and hide, but, like, some of the vents can also connect to other vents. And since the new spawn style is you different, I feel like that would work online. better for Splatoon 3. Modes and other to your nice. Why not play with your favorite battle modes alongside friends? Information about these game modes will be available soon on the game's official website. Hang on. I have to go check the Nintendo Switch online. I have just... The the graphics now, have reminded me to look at it, see if it's updated, lobby. even though it probably hasn't. Also, this, this music. Is the test range. This music. I Try like this. And get comfy with your weapons here. Besides being able to practice whenever you want, it's also a great place to get all warmed up while waiting for rivals to join a battle. Nice. Need, it really needed something in Splatoon 2 to actually entertain yourself while waiting for the game to start. This is good. Um... Interesting. How is that going to work exactly? Okay, you can kind of just see them, I think. Okay, okay, okay. I just want to know if rejoining a, a game when you get kicked out of it is possible. Because getting a disconnect is bad, and they need to have a way to reconnect. Fast forward. And have uh, AI take over or something. Or skip to a certain part. Or even swap to another player's view. Cool. Incredible. This is probably gonna... Oh my goodness. The Not amount of footage you, you could get life, and the amount of, like, in-depth detail you could look at. Use this handy tool the, the, you can extract so much out of just any game. So much power. Also, there's no Next, Splatoon 3 thing we'll on the Nintendo Switch Online the app. Within the, lobby, the locker room. Here, you'll find some fresh lockers. One is yours, and the others belong to players with whom you've recently played. So this is how you can check and get As new gear? You see, you'll be able to place any acquired weapons, gear... Or is this just for show? To your liking. This might just be for show? Slap on some snazzy stickers. Stickers, good. And modify your locker's color. This is What's the practical usage of this, though? So customize it however you'd like to show off your signature slash... Just showing off? I'm sure there's going to be, like, competitions. There should be competitions about it now. Items can be obtained at Hotlantis, a general store on the edge of Splatsville. How many? The store manager oh, stickers. Quite often. Buying stuff. So instead, well, see, yes, there's coins. Artist named Harmony. She used to be a regular customer here. It's What's with the... Outlandish assortment of items. Why it looks not show the store like an interesting grabbing some goods. art style, like, difference, but it... it I, I don't know if it's different. There appear to be plenty of other it just looks different. Features as well. 
When battles start, these splash tags. Splash tags? Good addition. They can be customized with a banner, badge, and title. This is actually something I approve of. Additionally, you can change the emote your character performs when you win a battle. That's also a good that's also a good feature. All of these can be obtained via I mean it's not entirely catalog. useful, but it's something that I think that is a good addition. By using points earned from battles, No, please no. Please no. Items. Not this, no. No, Nintendo go back. Gear. You have to go back. <laughs> Following the game's launch, a new catalog is planned to be released every 3 months for 2 years. Different ones or additions? Sure up everything you see oh. in each catalog. Different ones. Oh boy, collecting everything. Ah, gonna die. Send help. There's still a lot of info to share, but I need to take a little breather here. I think I need to breathe too because I'm meantime, about to faint. Trying to think about all the collectibles this. to get. All the collectibles. I must get all the collectibles. Introducing Table Turf Battle. Interesting. Lay out your cards for a dazzling deck duel. I'm this. I'm not sure how to feel about this, but this just makes me want to have a map builder, basically. Interesting. Like this, and even ones like this, and there are over 150 cards to collect in game. But what about real life? The Splatsville locals eagerly await your challenge. Oh boy, there's ranks. I'm not sure if that's for this specifically or if it's for overall stuff. If it's if it's for specifically this, I'm not I'm not oh boy, hundred percenting things. I lost my clamposure for a second. Clamposure? Table turf battle, a one v one competitive card battle spin-off of turf war. It yes. appears you can play this at the Table Turf Battle Dojo in Splatsville. Be on the lookout for more. There's so much new stuff. Turf battle in the future. So much stuff to keep up with. And now this. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Salmon run next wave. Salmon run is a simple job that requires four players. Salmon run was the best part of Splatoon 2, I think, other than maybe. The final boss of what's it called? Fishy, but it pays uh, the Octo expansion. Ferocious creatures called boss salmonids. You can obtain valuable golden eggs. Yep. You'll need to collect and deliver plenty of golden eggs in order to. I'm gonna play this so much. I already played Salmon Run so this much on Splatoon 2. Some new types of boss salmonids. So let's share our findings. Oh boy. Oh boy. First up, the Slammin' Lid. Slammin' Lid. It creates barriers and protects salmonids on the ground. But, but, too that. Close to it, oh. It'll attempt to crush you, so approach with caution. But you need to bring it down so you can take it out, I assume. Next, the Big Shot. It fires heavy projectiles Doesn't from stay the long. Be prepared for powerful shockwaves when they Oh, shockwaves. Shockwaves is going to be a big change to Splatoon. Make sure you're ready for an even more I think it's a cool addition, but it's going to be going to be so complicated as a new addition. Kind of. I guess you just have to jump over it, but still. Imagine like seven shockwaves on one area. Oh boy. And there's definitely going to be people who struggle with timing. Emergency? of the new King Salmon, it's unbelievable! It looks like they'll occasionally appear just before you complete the job. Um, the cool, is but also horrifying. <laughs> oh boy. That you can fire golden eggs That's gonna make this really damage. difficult, but really cool. Also, like the boss bar. However, these battles are under a time limit. Oh, so really? As much damage as possible to drive them back. Really? Oh boy. Does that mean? Oh, don't die. Uh, does that mean that you have to win it, or do you just get a bonus if you beat it? I assume it's just a bonus. Also, that's a that's a multiplayer level reskin. That's that, I like that edition. I love that edition. I sh if you know my videos, you should know that I love reskinning things. Like, I that's the whole point of mixes, video game mixes. Also, that is a cool art. Now, 
Observe that is a cool art. In Square. Oh my goodness. This is He's uh... <laughs> entrance to the home of the Octarians, the Inklings' yes. longtime enemies. Yes. As Agent 3, the new Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Also, like the. I like Captain's Octarian design for this. I love all of the designs. Hair. They've got hair! I kind of think that adding hair to enemies is actually a good way to create new enemies. They should do that in Breath of the Wild, I think. Like, imagine uh, a Hinox, but it's got hair. Oh my goodness. Oh, gra grappling, grappling. Also, angled platforms. I like that design. There's DJ, DJ Octavia. Uh oh, Captain, Captain, no! Also, other stuff is falling away, but it's fine. <laughs> the captain's the captain's what we We're really care about. From here on out, we'd like to talk about other features that'll help you enjoy your splatting escapades. This place looks really cool. This whole place looks really cool. It reminds me of a lot of uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X in the uh, what it, the, the I can't remember what place it's called ages. because my memory's bad. So put on but it's the area where you get your missions, basically. Vertical illustrations will the Blade HQ support. area. Additionally, you can grab food and drinks that'll help you in battles at the concession Okay. Stand. Tickets. Or use local communication to play with nearby folks in your favorite modes at the show. Local? Like how local? By using photo mode, you can snap selfies, send photos to a smart device. Also, I feel like there should be a lower tier for uh, Nintendo Switch Online that allows you, like, if you have the... the the physical copy of the game that you can just play it online and not have to worry about it as much. And if like you have Nintendo Switch Online Plus or something like that, you can just play the game without having the physical copy of the game or having bought a digital copy. I feel like there needs to be something like that to allow Splatoon 3 more accessibility to more players. It contains features like checking so that's going to be a, this is going to be a thing now. This is why I was looking at Nintendo Switch Online earlier, but I'm assuming it's going to come out after the game's out. The gear shop. I'm happy about this though. Access features like Krusty Sean's Wonder Crust. Support this fellow's journey using ink points earned depending on the areas you inked during battles. Interesting. Or view history to take a trip down memory lane with your past ranks. I'm looking forward to all of these things. It's gonna be so good. More for your smart device, so be sure to grab them. It appears that Splatnet 3 will be available at launch via the Nintendo yep. Switch Online that makes sense. app. I'm gonna play Splatoon 3 so Next much. Up, amiibo figures. Scan Splatoon series amiibo at this spot in Splatsville, and voila! I can't balance that. Saving your favorite gear combinations as fresh as fits will allow you to easily swap outfits. How easily, though? <laughs> People aren't going to have amiibos. Not everyone, at least. I only have one Splatoon with amiibo. amiibo. And also, and I only have three, three amiibo. amiibo. Incoming. But also, how how does it store the data Release and all that? I don't know. Holiday. I have to. I, I I wish I I wish I could have more amiibo. Now, let's talk about post-launch updates. Okay. Also, As where's my uh, splash rail? Games launch. A new in-game catalog will be released. Every where's my splash rail? Two years. Also, has multiple points to get the. New Thing to also be added the same Interesting. As each I like that idea. It's a good idea. But also, where's my splash wall? Just make a level with in a splash, addition, like a no, battle. a splash a rail, a an splash rail. High rank in battle, a level that has. Where every two hours you can ec a oh boy, <laughs> difficult. Oh, it's gonna be crazy. Be I just want a rail that works like a splash wall. For this game, also, what is that thing? Okay. More details will come Interesting. Time, so please be on it's going to be like the Octo expansion, now, but it's going like to be way better somehow, probably. The Thank you for they, they're going to literally hit this game into another galaxy. Hold it right there! Huh? Who are you supposed to be?
Just don't get the mask up top. We're not supposed to be anything. But I'll tell you who we are. Who we are. Say it, Sizzle. I'm Frey. Fr 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 fry? Fry? Think it's so cool? You can call me Shiver. I make money. Uh, I big man in the house. The Splatlands are our turf. We only have... It, it's going by very quickly. We are Deep Cut. I'm assuming the new news team. Also, I think Splatoon really needs to implement Bionic Reading. Because I, I, I can never keep up with the text. Let's see the current battle stages. Drum roll. This is actually a good... I like the multiple things on the screen. This is this is good. Also, Bionic Reading, please. They can check the news while doing other activities. See cucumber here. phones. This is this seems and interesting. Is that fish? Oh my goodness! Look at this. Oh boy. Oh oh my goodness. I'm so happy. Splat fests. I don't think I've ever been to a Splatfest. I'm always late to getting Splatoon games, it's quite sad. But this is the time, now is the time to get into Splatoon. Splatoon 1 and 2 were really good, but this is, this is incredible. Now is the time to get into it. Don't worry about, like, the player base. Just, now is the time. <laughs> you will become part of the player base. And if enough, a lot of people join the player base, the player base will even out a lot more, and it'll be a lot, it'll be a lot better for everyone. Especially because this is a new, new game. Just now is the time. <laughs> How far away is it? <laughs> it's, it's, it's like later this month, I'm pretty sure that this comes out. But I'm so ready for it right now. <laughs> so ready. Oh, it's beautiful. Just like a river. It's been confirmed that Splatfest will make a return. Obviously. <laughs> it just took a, lot, a long time to say that. Team based on the announced theme, then Tall jellyfish. Battle. Tall. And this time around, there will be three teams to choose from. Okay. Splatfest That's actually probably a really good addition. I mean, one versus, like, one versus one makes sense, but I think three teams makes it more balanced. Because it'll be... Oh my goodness. Tricolor Turf War. Three, three, three way battle. This is gonna make so much sense. It's gonna be so much more balanced. I think. Because this means that there could be... Like, you're a lot less likely to go against a team that's way better than you. <laughs> it's gonna be so chaotic, chaotic though. How many players is it gonna be? Oh, it's interesting. It's interesting because it's eight players still. Less, less balance, I guess. I feel like the middle team has the biggest advantage because they have the middle of the map, but they've also have to go against two other teams okay. on either side well, of them. This presentation with an announcement and those other teams are less likely Take to attack away. each other, so... They still attack each other, obviously, but it's gonna be... It's interesting to see... It'll be interesting to see how this goes. It could be either really balanced or really chaotic. I'm sure they've tested it, so... I like this. I like the blue color. It's, it's been... I don't think we've had a, a blue colored, like, main, as one of the main colors of these characters before, so I'm very, a big fan of this. Also, the blue and yellow is just such a good color combination. So good. Um, 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 it's Splat, the, the Splatfest, soon, very soon, <laughs> it, it's, I don't have time. I have to. I have to prepare. Ah, uh, the time is now. 
Also, rock, paper, scissors. Ah, well... Nobody's gonna pick paper. <laughs> no people will. I don't know. This is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be very interesting. Also, how does it pick which team is gonna be in the middle? How's it, how's it gonna work out? I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be good. Just so, like, far above them. But which team to choose? I don't really know. I'm probably gonna pick based on color. <laughs> Is that bad? Probably. Also, I like the, like, the, like, area theming of the main area. And, like, all of this, it, it's, it, it looks so good, and it, it, it hits me just right. Ah, oh, it's over. No? And now, announcing the Splatoon 3 Enter the Splatlands Invitational 2022 Tournament. This event will take place on September 5th at Okay. Well, I'm not going to be there. <laughs> finishers from this summer's Splatoon 2 Inkopolis showdown will head to Seattle and compete. I'm less North interested America's in this part because I I Splatoon live very far away. Follow the official Nintendo versus Twitter. I'm also not that updates. interested in the the competition of it, so I'm just happy that they're the bringing hype. American I'm just ha happy event. they're bringing you the hype. We hope you'll have an incredible time no wonder the September some of the new bye -bye. Nintendo cha channels started early. <laughs> They were just so hyped to get this out. Well, there we go. But anyway, I'm so... I don't know if I can sleep now. <laughs> I mean, it's like 11 p.m., but I, I'm so excited to play Splatoon 3 now. I'm going to have to play that as soon as possible. There's so many things I want to do in it. Anyway, that is the Splatoon 3 Direct. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.